Today, I'll walk you through the setup process of linking a Gmail account with a business email address hosted with Hostinger. Before we get started, it's important you know that the process outlined within this video solely applies to those with email accounts managed by Hostinger's webmail. If you'd like to learn how to do the same with Titan, a link will be provided in the video's description. To begin, within Hostinger's H panel, navigate to Emails and select the Manage button for the business mail you wish to connect to your desired Gmail account. Keeping this short and sweet, I assume you've already created an email account with Hostinger. Otherwise, selecting this option should prompt this interface to do so, and it's as intuitive as entering your preferred email prefix and password, after which you can go ahead and create the email account. I'd skip the steps involved with configuring apps and devices so we can all be on the same page moving forward. Now that we are all within the webmail's control panel, select the navigation menu to the left titled Connect Apps and Devices. The information provided on this page contains the configuration settings needed to successfully connect this business mail with any Gmail account. Taking it a step further, you'll also need to log into the business mail you wish to connect to Gmail, as we'll receive a unique confirmation link sent to its inbox to authorize the request we'll get shortly. To do this, duplicate this tab, and once that loads up, head back to the navigation menu titled Email Accounts. Then select the webmail link for the account you wish to log into, enter your email address and password, then select the button underneath to log in. This is assuming you know your login details, but if you don't, you can always use this option to reset your account's password. Now that we've opened both pages required to configure these settings, let's open the Gmail account we wish to use for this configuration. Once that opens up, click the Settings icon in the upper right corner. Then select See All Settings. Now switch to the Accounts and Import tab, and let's scroll down to find the link titled Add an Email Account. Clicking on this link should prompt this modal box to enter the webmail's configuration settings. For clarity and to avoid any mistakes, I'd adjust these browser windows to fit my screen so we can easily shift focus between these tabs when needed. Now enter the business email address you wish to connect with Gmail into this field, then click the Next button. Looking closely at this, we have the import emails from my other account selected by default. Next to it is an abbreviation for Post Office Protocol, which, as the name suggests, allows us to use Gmail like a post office. So whenever someone sends an email to your business mail, the webmail receives and forwards a copy of the mail to your Gmail account. Moving on, let's select the Next button which should bring us to this page to fill out these fields, starting with the username, which would be the business email address we have hosted with Hostinger. The password should be the same we used in creating the business mail. And as for the POP server, this needs to correspond with that of the incoming server. So let's copy and paste that here. Lastly, for the port value, we have this set to 995, so let's change that, and I recommend you tick the first three boxes. The first option instructs the configuration to only fetch a copy of each mail delivered to the business mail without deleting the original mail from Titan's mail server. Otherwise, every mail delivered to the business mail would be forwarded to Gmail and erased from Titan's mail server. This ensures emails are delivered with a secure connection while in transit to your Gmail account. The third option allows us to create and choose a label under which all delivered mails in Gmail are displayed, making it easy to filter and differentiate them within Gmail's inbox. Once we've filled in these information correctly, select the Add Account button, and that should take care of the first half of these configuration settings. Next, we would be asked if we'd also like to be able to send mails as the business mail. By opting for this, we would not only receive emails from the business mail, we'll also be able to reply and send emails from within the Gmail account. If this is what you want, then select Next. Choose a name you'd like users to see when they receive emails from you. And let's proceed to the next step. For the second half of these configuration settings, we are required to fill in the SMTP server configurations, which aligns with the choice we made earlier to be able to send emails as the business mail from within the Gmail account. This means we'd be using the outgoing server configurations this time. Let's start by copying the SMTP server configuration and paste that here. Again, this value needs to match what we have for the SSL and TLS encryption, so choose the port value 465. For the username and password, let's repeat the same as we did earlier. This is for the business email address, and the second for the password used when creating it. 
cross-check to see if the fields and values are correct, and then proceed to select the Add Account button. If everything is filled in correctly, we should automatically get redirected to this success message requesting verification of ownership using the confirmation link sent to our inbox. Now let's switch to the browser tab we have the webmail opened and all we need to do is click the link provided within to complete the verification process. Select the button to confirm the request and that's it. Switching to the tab with the Gmail account's settings page, we should find that the business mail has been successfully added to this Gmail account. But before we wrap this up, let's reload this page to complete the configuration vital for replying to emails from within the Gmail account. Now scroll down to the option that reads Send Mail As. To its right, we need to change this option from Always Reply from Default Address to Reply from the same address to which the message was sent. Essentially, what this does is respond to emails corresponding to where they were received. So when a mail is delivered to the business email address when applying to it, it would be the business mail that leaves a response and not the Gmail account. And the same goes for the Gmail account. Now we can head back to the inbox to compose and send a test mail to confirm that all is working correctly. Additionally, we can make some styling edits to how you want the business emails to appear to distinguish them from the emails delivered to the Gmail account. We can also make edits to the label name from within these options and more. Before you go, I would greatly appreciate it if you left this video a like. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.